Whew, another lazy day. You probably don't feel like doing anything, but you still want to get something done, right? So... Let's make some black garlic. It's Some Guy Who Could, starring Brett Picorni. Featuring Brett Picorni, guest stars on the show include Sal, Pappy, and the lovely Paula. Today's episode is brought to you by Brett Picorni. Now, if you're familiar with black garlic, then you're familiar with how wonderful it is. It's like regular garlic. It's still got that garlicky flavor, but you take away a lot of that punch. It makes it more of a background flavor. Very subtle, very soft, very nice. And then because you caramelized all of that garlic, all of the natural sugars just have time to burst with flavor. It gives it a buttery texture, makes it a little sweet, and you still keep that roasted garlic flavor. Luckily, it's super easy to make black garlic. Seriously, you just need garlic. All right, Paula, it's your time to shine. Are you ready? I hope you're ready. Oh! Thank you, Paula. Now, don't go chopping this up. In fact, don't even peel this. You wanna leave everything on these heads of garlic. The reason being that you kind of need this outside shell to protect the garlic. You want it to cook properly. It kind of has to steam itself and slowly, slowly, slowly cook until it caramelizes. We're essentially fermenting the garlic. So how are we gonna do this effectively? Well, we wanna get a Ziploc bag. This will help us keep all the moisture in so that the garlic doesn't dry out. Trust me, first time I ever made black garlic, it all got rock solid because, well, it dried out. Now I've tried a couple methods, but the most effective so far has been the Ziploc one. You don't need to wrap it in paper towels, you don't need to wrap it in foil, nothing. You just toss it in this Ziploc bag and it's good to go. So now what do we do with it? Well, go ahead and get your trusty rice cooker, set it on down and try to flatten it out and eh. get it closed and we're gonna set it to, uh, we're gonna set it to keep warm. And now that we've got it set to keep warm, we're gonna wanna let this sit for about four weeks. Anybody know the Doom song? Well, I guess I'll see you in four weeks. All right, guys, the moment we've all been waiting for, it's been about three weeks that the garlic has been in this rice cooker, so I guess it's time for the un-rice cooker-ing. What's behind door number rice cooker? All right, you can see the plastic bag here. It's really held in that moisture. Oh yeah, that is what I call black garlic. Time to open up the, the baggie here. Now I can already smell this. It's a, a very, very strong smell, but it's a lot weaker than it could have been if I didn't have it sitting in a bag like this. My whole house, if I didn't have it like this, would have been smelling like garlic for weeks now. So let's go ahead and just unpeel this first one and see what we got. Outer layer here. And oh yeah, even just now, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I think I can just, yep, pluck this clove out right like that, and there it is. Black garlic, this, um, you, you can't feel it because it's not in your hands, but it's, it's tender, it's ready to just smush in between my fingers. You could spread this on a piece of bread. And we're just going to, take these cloves off of here and uh, if you know garlic you know you got to kind of pop the cloves off but these just right off there's no pop and they just roll right off if you want to get a little taste of what you just spent three weeks making mm. mm -hmm. that's black garlic it's got a subtle sweetness because it's got those naturally caramelized sugars in the garlic itself and the garlic flavor is actually toned down here we go ready Look at that, there's, there's those natural caramely juices there just pumping out of that piece of garlic. It's just, whoops. Anyway guys, there's uh, not much left to say here other than peel that garlic once it's done like this. It's both easier and more difficult to peel than regular garlic because while the skin does come off really easily, if you wanna keep whole cloves like this, you have to be a little bit delicate, otherwise you'll end up smashing the black garlic clove. 
Now there are a couple things you can do with this. You can put it in a plastic bag to store in the fridge and it'll keep for a little while. Alternatively, I have a couple other uses for it. I'll make what I call steak butter. You've seen me use my steak butter in an episode or two. And it's basically a compound butter made with black garlic and a few other seasonings. I'll go ahead and make that pretty soon for you because I do have a bunch of this black garlic now and I have some butter in the fridge. So we'll go over that in a future episode. In the meantime though, a couple more ideas for black garlic. Uh, well, one more idea for how to store it. Go ahead and get yourself a nice big jar and fill it with olive oil and drop those cloves right on in there. By dropping the black garlic cloves into the olive oil, not only are you preserving these cloves and curing them in the olive oil, you're also making yourself a really super yummy delicious olive oil that's flavored with black garlic. It is a very delicate flavor, so it's not too prevalent, but it's definitely there. Anyway guys, I'm gonna keep doing these cloves, you keep doing you. I'll see you next time with something else. Till then, I'm some guy who cooks.